All right, just gonna go over real quick about oil pumps and how I, what I do to shim my oil pump for a little bit more pressure for high RPM. Let's go over one, uh, how it works and everything real quick for you guys if you don't know. So we got, I got this, this is my one from the mist shift that went and hit 14,000 RPM. But just as you can see, you know, this is normally over it and there's the seal. But so oil comes in here, as you can see, the rotor is like closed and let me go this way so you can see so as i spin it see how the, it keeps it gets bigger and bigger which creates a vacuum or whatever negative pressure you can say right and then at this point it's pulled it in now it's going to push it out and it's going to push it out over here let me try and do it like this see how it gets smaller and smaller and the oil that's in that cavity is pushed out pushes out there and then this goes to the block and this goes to the block here I'll show you so so there is this cavity which the pickup tubes there and there's this cavity which the oil goes in and it goes in the pumps here which no oil goes where there's black obviously <laughs> right and that's where the pump is and it pushes it out into this cavity, right? And this cavity goes, and it goes into this hole, which is this, and it feeds this, right? And here's your oil filter and oil cooler. So it goes in here, goes through the cooler and the filter, and it enters the block here, and that's how it gets to the main, all the, the crank and the rods and everything. And you can see the galley kind of like right here. And here's like where I feed my oil. That's the main oil galley to the crank. And then through the crank, it feeds the rods. So, yeah, so as you can see, here's the pickup tube, like I was saying. And it goes in and it's got this channel here, which like I said, this channel, you know, it goes in that channel. And that channel is this right here and then it pushes it out to here and that's this channel that's where it goes out and then you can see that little bump out right there right and that's this channel and then here's where that bump out is and that's that's feeding that so there's your oil system so then as this gets pressure Right, you can see there's a hole on the top here, right there, right? And then you have this, like, there's like a cylinder here. See that? It goes right to the hole. And there's a side exit. So what happens is, is there is this, like, piston thing, we'll call it. I don't know the technical name, and that, that goes to the size of that hole on top. Right, that goes up. And then you have this spring, which is the pressure, or the tension for the pressure. Right, and then uh, Toyota has a little snap ring. I'll show you when I take it apart here in a minute. So you have this little snap ring, and then as oil pressure builds up, it squeezes the spring down, and oil exits out this side. Right, so if you get a stronger spring, it raises your max oil pressure. But this is only set the max oil pressure. It won't like increase idle pressure and all that. Because at idle, this thing's not open at all. It's not enough pressure. I mean, it opens stock is like 55 pounds. So at 55 pounds, the spring's pushed enough that oil starts exiting out here, right? And like I said, it's like this. So that's on this side. And that's like right here. And it just squirts the oil right back into the pan. And that's all it does. So, but all right, let me show you what I do to mod these things. All right, so I got my brand new factory Toyota oil pump from a 98 plus Camry. You can tell it's a 98 plus because there's the spot for the, the crank sensor, but I don't even use that. And then another quick lesson, here is the 5S oil pump here. Look at the tooth profile real quick and compare it to a 3S side by side and you can see why 
you want to run all 3S gears if you can, even on the water pump, because the tooth profile is different. But anyway, so here's the pressure relief, and like I said, you can see it is a little snap line, or snap ring, I mean. So let me take that out real quick. Let's see if I can get this. Got it. All right, so as you can see, it's a, that's what holds all your oil pressure. That, you have the spring. It's that and that, right? You have, you know, the spring and all this. And in the past, I've had it where, you know, I've uh, taken a washer, right? And with the washer, you know, I had it behind the, uh, the spring retainer. You know, it was the spring retainer, the washer, and then the snap ring. But then, at high RPM and everything, it ended up being so, like, too much pressure. Blew the snap ring completely out of the housing. And then I ended up finding all this just laying in my oil pan. Right? And I had zero oil pressure. And it completely took out my whole engine. Like, all my rod bearings and everything were smoked. I had to rebuild a whole new short block. So I was like, well, I want the more pressure. Because I get about, like, 65 pounds or so by doing what I do instead of 55 pounds, so I'll show you guys, but um, since I've done it, I've never had a problem. And I even know some stock guys that have had problems from bouncing off the Revlimer and stuff that have popped the, the little clip out. So, all right, well, let me start showing you. So I put the snap ring back in by itself. I got a dial caliper, and I'm going to check the depth of this, right? It's about seven millimeters. Let's do another one. See if we get same results. Whoops. Whoops. All right. Let's try it again. See if we get the same results. Down six and a half. Six and a half. Maybe my first one, I didn't have it all the way down. Let's try right here. Yep, yeah, six and a half. So it's about six and a half, right? Uh, to that. So let me take it back out. All right, so I got the spring back out. Yep, zero's out. So let's measure this. And it's, I'm sure you can see, it's one millimeter, right? About. So, so the whole thing is six and a half plus one, so it's seven millimeter. So when I put this plug in that I use, it's gotta be seven and a half millimeter deep for stock oil pressure. And then, but, all right, so now let me start tapping it to show you. So I got uh, my old oil pump and I threw the plug in it and now I gotta drill a hole in the middle of it. I got a 730 seconds drill bit. So now you have the plug, and as you can see, it's got a hole through it, and that way it doesn't hydro lock, um, so the oil can go through. Otherwise, it'll keep that piston stuck. So now we can tap the housing. So the next step, let me clean this up. I got the plug and zeroed out, and the plug is 10.3 millimeters, right? So that would mean 
in order for us to get our uh, our seven and a half that this has to stick out three millimeter so just for reference I'm going to start um, I got it all like I put towels in there and the galley is and a towel on the top and I taped it off just for shavings it's trying to stay out of there and then I got a a 3 8 18 tap which is the same size as the plug as a 3 8 plug and I'm gonna put in some cutting oil so it cuts clean in the aluminum Turn this down a little bit so you can see. And now it's just, you don't have to drill it, it's just, it is the size. You just start driving her home. Alright, let's do a test, see how far down this can go. All right, we need to go. I like to get it about flush, so I got about at least two more threads to go. That's gotta be pretty close. Let's try that. So there you go, you can see it's flush, right? So now you're already shimmed three millimeter. And then I'm gonna put on in these two washers, which are another three millimeter. So it'll be shimmed like six millimeter. I could put another washer in too, but I wouldn't go much more than that. And then I'll, I'll show you as I put it together here. I gotta clean it all out. All right, so we got all cleaned out. I blew it out. I just put it back together. Let me get the... There we go. All right, now it goes in. Yeah, it's going down. See, it goes down and up. Sure if you can see that, but it's going all the way. Just because of threads. No. So I got that. Put in the spring. Got the retainer. Two washers. And red Loctite. So this thing does not back out. Just the bite, right? Tighten the hell out of it. <sighs> Wipe off the excess red lock tight. I'm getting all over there and that's it that is a shimmed 
and safe as can be, second gen style uh, oil pump. 5S, second gen style. There it is, the plug. So, yeah, I just gotta put the seal in, change the gear, and I'll be putting it on the engine. But I just wanna show you guys what I do. That's, uh, that's my little stupid mod that I do. But it works. I think that is a lot safer than that. So that's why I do it. So, yeah, I should be uh, getting that gear soon, so I'll go back to the trans, which is just laying on the ground right now. And uh, I'll get that buttoned up and keep going on the engine. So I'll see you soon.